Hello everyone. After I made the continuous chain video, I was asked to make a cascade video. And that's what this is. Okay, every cascade lift starts out as a continuous chain lift. It's not possible to have a cascade lift that's two stages. And that's what we've got here. We've got one stage, two stage. Okay, these represent axles and sprockets. This part up here represents a fixed point of attachment, like a standoff or a piece of metal or something, okay? And if you put a motor and you power this sprocket, you can see that this stage is gonna, sec stage two is gonna go up and down, okay? All right, let's add our cascade to this. Okay. Stage one, two, three. This represents a fixed point of attachment, axle and sprocket, and a fixed point of attachment. And as you can see, if we make the cast, if we make the continuous chain lift, stage one, stage two go up, then stage three goes up as well. Okay? These fixed point of attachments pivot over this sprocket here like a seesaw. So if this goes down relative to stage two, then stage three's gotta go upward, okay? And that's Cascade in a nutshell, okay? We'll get a little more detailed here in just a moment. I'm gonna say something right now, I'm gonna say it again probably before the video's out. When making Cascade, it is critical, I mean, if you want a well-running Cascade lift, that the stages, except for the final stage, are all the same height. Because as soon as any one of these stages stops moving, they all stop moving. That is the downside to Cascade, as well as significantly higher chain tension. If I was gonna make a Cascade lift, I'd get on my axle, I'd put two sprockets side by side, and I would run dual chains. So you've got two chains carrying the load of it. Okay, let's add another stage here. Now, if you're paying attention here, you're noticing that stage one, stage two look identical now. And I don't have the proper piece of string cut for here. We're just gonna use this. And I'm just gonna put my finger on it there, okay? We have a four stage cascade lift now. Continuous chain section, axle and sprocket, axle and sprocket, fixed point of attachment. Fixed point of attachment, axle and sprocket, fixed point of attachment. Fixed point of attachment, axle and sprocket, fixed point of attachment. And as this whole mechanism goes upward, I'm going to see if I can do this here. And it spreads out a little bit. It's a little easier to uh, see once it sort of spreads out here. You can see that it cascades. It goes over and over. If there was another stage, it would attach here. It'd go over this stage, and it would attach the final stage. Okay? And that's it. That's it. Um, from practical experience, these areas here where you've got all these chains going over, this gets really crowded when you're trying to build this. It gets really crowded, so you spread them out. Well, when you spread them out, you give up distance because it's the difference in these distances that determine how high your lift is going to go upward, okay? So you want this as tall as possible. You want to use the very end hole in your metal. You want this very, very tight, very, very precise. So you get that lift distance out of here, out of this mechanism that you're hoping to get. Okay? Because 
you know, you're not building a four-stage lift if you want to lift 12 inches off the ground. You build a four-stage lift if you're trying to get two, three, or three feet off the ground, okay? So, um, it's, it's much easier to do with continuous chain, but if you want to do a cascade, here's how you do one. And I uh, hope you enjoy.